Isolation, the feeling as if you have no one to talk to, no friends to meet, can be hard enough for most of us. But when you have a disability, it can make life even more difficult to deal with. This is where FAB comes in, a UK-wide charity that supports regular activity clubs like this one and has been doing so for over 60 years. They're open to everyone of all ages and abilities to do what most of us take for granted, have an opportunity to play games, talk and make friends. Hiya! <laughs> the charity's clubs are special, like this one in Epping Forest. Adults as well as children like Kiana can come to interact with like-minded friends, which can help with their social interaction and confidence. <laughs> so what is the best thing about coming to FAB? Like, I get to have fun there and there's all these people in wheelchairs like me and things. And do you make friends? Yeah, but I've made quite a few. Today we made, like, things out of pipe cleaners and stuff. Ooh. And about this wheelchair dancing, do you think it's possible I might get to see some of your moves? Sure. Fantastic, give me a high five. Yes. Hi, Sandy. I've just been having the most wonderful chat with your little granddaughter, Kiana. I bet you had. <laughs> She's just adorable. Tell me a little bit about her. She has cerebral palsy. She was born three months premature. It wasn't until she was about a year and a half that we really found out what was really wrong with her. With Kiana, like, you know, she's always very wary of people that she don't know. But she actually got on so well. She was chatting to other people in there and that. It was lovely. So would you say it's benefited Kiana coming here to FAB? Leaps and bounds, Anita. Confidence like, you know, and generally it is. I'm quite happy. All the children in there seem very happy. You know, FAB isn't just for children or those with disabilities. Everyone is welcomed into the FAB family from seven-year-olds to 70-year-olds and beyond. Natalie's story really shows what's possible being a part of FAB. At the age of 25, Natalie was working, walking and having adventures. But then, tragedy struck. Life kind of stopped as I knew it. I went into hospital as a working, able-bodied person to coming home as somebody completely different that kind of gone back to babyhood in a way and being dependent on my parents for everything. You kind of think, well, how do you start again? Natalie was severely affected by Guillain-Barre syndrome, a very rare and serious condition that affects the nerves and is now paralysed from the neck down. Before I was ill, I was always busy, always doing everything. I also did a lot for the people and then all of a sudden that all stopped and I'm completely dependent. I lost a lot, I lost a lot of confidence. I just felt, who needs me now? Where do I fit in? I kept my really, really good friends and they stuck by me, but I also lost quite a lot of friends. So I did start to become quite isolated and I didn't want that. I wanted to be the person that I was before. I found out about FAB through a friend who had also been in hospital with me. Everybody was really friendly and nobody asked me questions. Nobody really wanted to know what had happened, where I'd come from. And I instantly felt really at ease. Nobody knew me before and that was really nice to be able to just be me from the start. I found who I was again, really. You make friends, you talk to different people, and you share experiences. So it really has given me my social life back um, in every way, really. Since I've been going to FAB, I've actually, as myself, I've got a lot more confident. I've done some things with FAB that I never, ever thought that I would ever do. It doesn't have to be that, you know, your life's finished, that's it. You can still go out and do all these things. And it, it really has given that back to me. 
if you were looking for a role model for somebody who copes with a serious disability, then I would point you in the direction of Nat. Her disability doesn't define her, it's just part of who she is. If you watch, during the course of the evening, most of the members of FAB will speak to her. She has a smile and a good word for everybody. We're about enjoying ourselves. We're a social club. We're about having a good time. There isn't the support out there for disabled adults. Um, and FAB, to some extent, fills that hole. Without the help of volunteers, FAB clubs just wouldn't be able to exist. And donations can help fund life-enhancing activities like games, arts and crafts, and musical workshops. Yes! You know, one of the most life-affirming experiences that FAB run are residential summer trips. Often an opportunity for young people with special needs to get away from home for the first time without their parents. Caitlin, who has cerebral palsy, and her brother Cameron, spent a week at an outdoor residential centre in the New Forest, away from mum and dad. It was different because I got to do stuff that I don't normally do. It just gave me the independence that I know I needed. Knowing that I can do different activities gives me that confidence that maybe I don't get in school or at home. Often people don't see her for what she, she knows that she is. So she's proud of what she's been able to do. And a lot of it is people of a similar age, and so she's got that peer um, support. So it gives them friends that are similar to her, and it's that sense of belonging, I think, it gives a big sense of belonging. It's inspiring me to go out and make new friends, and inspiring me to um, go to different clubs and try new things. In terms of sort of brother sister sort of going together is quite important because with Cameron being that bit younger it gives him the opportunity to feel independent. It gives Caitlin responsibility as well so that's it we, you know we, we, we try where we can to say you know you are the big sister um, so for her you know she's got a, an important job there. Since 1957 the charity has inspired and supported disabled children and adults to make more of life together. This can be key in improving their quality of life and well-being. Now with your money, FAB will be able to offer more residential projects and open up new clubs where the demand is greatest across the UK. Think about how important these clubs are to those who don't have the opportunity to leave their home with ease. With your generosity, FAB will be able to provide safe and fun places for people to feel independent meet new friends and gain confidence together. So please do give what you can. To give by phone, call 0800-011-011. Calls are free from mobiles and landlines. Text SUPPORT to 70121 to donate £10. Text SUPPORT to 70120 to donate £20. Texts cost your donation plus your standard network message charge and 100% of your donation will go to FAB. For full terms and conditions or to make a donation online, visit the Lifeline website at bbc.co.uk slash lifeline. Or if you'd like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to FAB and send it to Free Post, BBC Lifeline Appeal, writing FAB on the back of the envelope.